Good morning, everyone. First Source TV here. What you're looking at is a photograph of Kanika Jenkins lying deceased in a freezer at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Look at it. Just take a moment to let this picture actually get into your psyche. Absorb every emotion that you can from looking at this photograph. Kanika Jenkins, a teenage girl, just living life as a teenager, went to a party and ended up this way. When I look at this photograph, I don't see Kanika Jenkins a stranger. I see Kanika Jenkins, who could have been my daughter, lying there in that freezer. I see a kid that belongs to my community. I see a kid who belongs to our community. And what I'm witnessing on YouTube with all of the false information being spread once again about what happened to Kanika Jenkins, it is so familiar because it is a repeat of what happened in the beginning when we first learned of her death. Now, what you guys must understand is that death is final. Kanika Jenkins was a real human being with a family behind her that loved her dearly. Regardless of what you strangers might think, the reality of this is she had people who really cared about her. And for people to continue to exploit her death and create narrative after narrative about what happened to her when the facts have been laid out to us it's a sin in itself so please when you see people that are continuing to speak on this dead child, her family, in a negative way, especially, I'm going to quote that, especially if these individuals come from the black community, not only should you close your ear off to that nonsense, but you should encourage other people to do the same thing as well. Because it, it is impossible for these people to be saying that they want justice for Kanika. But yet they are spreading all of these lies about what happened to her. You see, she's just a good storyline for them. But keep in mind, a mother had to bury her child. That mother can't have conversations with her baby girl anymore unless she goes and visits the graveyard. 
a lot of people have the inability to feel because certain situations haven't come up on them. And I pray that it never does because there's nothing, there's nothing like losing a child. And I pray you never have to experience it.